For thousands of years, people have been baking bread, an ancient rhythm and process that still exists today. Right throughout the world, from culture to culture, people stop to gather around this simple yet nutritious meal in all its various forms, unassuming in nature, yet able to feed and sustain so many. It really is a miracle how a few small earthly elements can come together to provide such life-giving nourishment. Think about the transformation that takes place. From a simple seed that is exposed to oxygen and a stream of water, rising within a fiery furnace to fulfill a purpose far greater than one would have first imagined. The more you slow down to chew on it, the more you actually appreciate the depth of flavour and experience the beauty of its simplicity. Bread is still a staple food throughout much of the world, and in many cultures it remains the substance of life. Knowing the value of bread, Jesus said to the people, I am the bread of life. The process of coming into his presence and going out to others is much like the process of baking bread for ourselves and our families, of coming to eat from the source of life itself, finding nourishment and crying out, give us this day our daily bread, Lord. Jesus, our bread of life. How can we feast on every crumb at your table? You are the meal that satisfies our hungry souls. Your bread was never just for us to hold on to, never intended to become stale and unusable. Your bread was meant to be shared, it was meant to be broken by many hands, travel across cultures in all seasons, into the hands of the hungry, the poor, and those in need. There's enough bread to go around. We have bread for all, each and every day. Every neighbourhood, household and family, we have bread that gives life because we have Jesus. So what is our response? It's not a secret we can hold on to. This good news was designed to be shared, shouted from the rooftops to all who will listen, time and time again, until all have heard. We come and eat bread together every week. We enjoy it in the environment it was always designed for, broken and shared with others. But what about those beyond ourselves? What about those beyond our table? We have something worth sharing, something that we've taken time to cultivate with the maker that is a thing of beauty. We have food for all who are hungry. We have loaves of life at our fingertips. It's time to take this bread into the world. Time to take it out piece by piece, to tear it off and let others taste and see the goodness that we know. We've eaten as family at his table. It's time to invite the world to this same feast. It's time to be released. <laughs>